a very warm hello to all today we are going to talk about networking and internetworking devices i am bina rajesh palat the contents for this particular video lectures are introduction then summary of osi layers the need for networking and internetworking devices and under these devices we are going to look into details on regenerators switches routers and gateways now having some prior knowledge about osi model as per our previous video lecture osi is nothing but open system interconnection model which was developed by iso and it is used for understanding and developing computer to computer communication if you just recall our osi model has seven different layers which are two different functionally they are connected to each other now network is a combination of different types of networks now before going into details of networking devices let's have a quick recap of the osi model osi model as you know consists of seven layers in which layer 1 or the lowest layer is physical layer layer 2 is data link layer layer 3 is network layer layer 4 is transport layer layer 5 is sessions layer layer 6 is presentation layer and the last layer is application layer now let's first summarize functionally all the seven osi layers we already are aware of the functions of physical layer that is it is used to transmit bits over a medium and to provide mechanical and electrical specifications talking about layer 2 which is data link layer it is basically functional for hop to hop delivery and it divides the bits into frames then layer 3 is a network layer which is used to move packets from source to de destination thus providing internetworking layer 4 is a transport layer which will provide reliable process to process message delivery and error recovery layer 5 is a sessions layer which is used to establish manage and terminate sessions layer 6 is presentation layer which is used to translate encrypt and compress data and finally layer 7 is application layer which is used to allow access to the network resources now having this particular summary in mind let's go to our main topic which is the networking and internetworking devices before studying those we should know why we require these devices we already know that if the data between the transmitter and the receiver is of the same nature then we can directly transmit the data via wires but over here in networking there is large amount of disagreement between the networks in terms of data representation signaling formats error detection etc that is why two networks cannot directly communicate via a simple wire that's why we need specialized networking and internetworking devices this is how there is a special need for these devices coming up now let's look at the classification of our network devices these network devices are classified into two broad categories networking devices and internetworking devices under networking devices we are going to study repeaters and bridges under internetworking devices we are going to look at routers and gateways in detail now before we proceed let's see what are the broad functions of these devices these devices have got broad functions of either connecting separating or expanding the existing networks they are also used for what is known as remote access via these devices you can have remote access of the data now let's establish the relationship between these connecting devices and osi model repeater is a device which is present at the physical layer bridge is a device which is functional at the data link layer of osi router is a device which is functional at network layer of osi whereas gateway is a device which is functional at all the seven layers of our osi model 
Now let's look at the first device which is a repeater or regenerator. Repeater or regenerator works at the physical layer of OSI model. Repeater is also known as regenerator. We should understand this fact that repeater is not an amplifier. It is a device which will simply regenerate the received signal. In other words, it will just remove the noise from the corrupted signal to give you a clean signal. As you can see from the diagram, if our signal is corrupted, if I give it to the repeater, I will get a noise-free signal at the output of the repeater. We can confidently say that repeater is not an amplifier because in amplifier the noise is also amplified whereas in repeater the corrupted signal is cleaned or the noise is removed and I get a noise free signal at the output of the repeater. Second device which is under study is bridge. Now bridge is a device which works at the data link layer of the OSI model. If you see from this diagram, bridge is a device which will divide my large network into smaller segments. In this diagram, my large network is divided into two segments, segment 1 and segment 2. So, bridge is a connecting device to connect these two segments. The main function of the bridge is to isolate as well as control the particular link. It also regenerates the signal. It checks the physical address and forwards the data to the specified segment. So we can say that bridge is an intelligent device which will send the data to its destination. The, the third device is a router which is functional at the network layer of the OSI. So network layer main function is uh, to provide the end delivery. So, router is an intelligent device which will help to do this particular task. Now, routers connect two or more logically separate networks. They will always use the logical address of the packets and they also have what are known as routing tables to determine which is the best path for the data delivery. Now, routing in short is nothing but it is a process of discovering, selecting, and employing paths from one place to another in a particular network. Our last device is gateways. Gateways are the devices which are op operational at all the seven layers of OSI. So gateways are intelligent devices which will connect the networks which are using two different protocols. In this particular diagram, the gateway is connecting two different networks which are using two different protocols. So, protocol translation is the main function of the gateways. Now, the references for this particular PPT and video lectures are taken from TCP IP protocol sued by Feroz. This is all from my side regarding networking and internetworking devices. Thank you for listening.